a place in the center of Sweden, between Gothenburg and Stockholm, where four provinces are linked and where beautiful shores meet Renaissance castles. Join the journey to Sweden's second biggest lake, Vettern, and to the town, Vatsdena. A new day and new adventures. Yeah. Where are we going today? We're looking for some graves today. <laughs> Good morning, it's 6 a.m. in Gothenburg and we are, I think, the earliest ones up here. You see the whole city is completely empty and we are heading direct to Stockholm today, but we will not go directly, we will make another stop before because we are looking for the grave of my travel partner's grandfather. Even though we're doing the first kilometers here on the highway before we go looking for the graves, it's always so nice to ride into the sunrise. It didn't take long before we hit smaller roads again and before my travel partner took the lead. We stopped here now because this is supposed to be a very famous church. But we first have to Google why it's so famous. It's new Gothic style, yeah. which is very unusual. Oh. I really hope that my travel partner doesn't get lost while trying to find the grave of his grandfather. We meanwhile did so many turns, I have no clue where we are anymore. Like always we had to take another detour when we saw an interesting sign that said Steenhuis. And we of course wanted to find out what that Steenhuis is. So we took the scenic one-way road. Torpa Stenhuis is a well-preserved medieval castle near Lake Osunden in the country of Vestra Gutterland. The first stone house was built around 1470, but reconstruction and remodeling of the fortress was made during the 1500s and 1600s. Normally the house can be seen with guided tours, but when we arrived early in the morning, it was still close to the public. Same procedure like always, filling in the oil in the Ducati. And um, the BMW, by the way, did not have to be filled once. Unfortunately, we are a bit too early. All the cafes here are still closed. So we will continue our way and look for the grave. How 
how nice is this? The sun just started to shine now that we are getting closer to the graves. We visited a farm my travel partner spent his childhood at. And then finally found the graves we had been looking for. Now we soon arrive at Lake Betan and it's supposed to be quite a scenic ride along the border in some parts. Betan is not only Sweden's second largest lake, it is also the fifth largest lake in Europe. The lake is 135 kilometers long and 31 kilometers wide and it links together the four provinces of Östergötland, Västergötland, Närke and Småland. If you want to circumnavigate the lake, the distance around Vettern is about 300 kilometers and you will pass through eight different municipalities along the way. It didn't take long though until our journey came to a sudden stop. So now we have a new problem with our favorite bike, the Ducati Multistrada. We lost the license plate and we will try to go back and find where it was last. That was a disappointment. Uh, we went the way back and I even tried to find look at the last videos that I took with my GoPro to find out where we lost it and we must have lost it somewhere on the gravel roads we did this morning so we didn't find it and I guess now we have to find a gas station or something to paint our own number plate. This was officially the last time my travel partner's license plate was seen on this journey. Hopefully resting in peace somewhere close to his grandfather's graves now. We are in Vatsdena now and um, it's a super cute little town. Unfortunately, the weather changed a bit, but we will still look at the castle now and um, go as well downtown because there are a lot of nice, pretty buildings. Vatsdena is a small village on Lake Vettan, but has an impressive history. Vatsdena Castle was originally built by King Gustav I in 1545 as a fortress to protect Stockholm from enemies approaching from the south. The reconstruction from the fortress into a habitable castle began in the 1550s, when Prince Magnus became Duke of Östergötland. He suffered from mental illness, died in 1595 and is buried in the church of nearby Vatsdena Abbey. The castle has been very well preserved and is one of Sweden's best examples of Renaissance architecture. When it started to rain, we seek shelter at the cozy restaurant Hornet and were able to get a place at the bar to have dinner. And it turned out to be the best restaurant in town. In the morning we made another stop at our beloved Vatsdena castle before hitting the roads to Stockholm. Goodbye little castle, goodbye little slut, as they call it here in Swedish. I have seen you here before. We are saying goodbye to Lake Vettern now and this here is Motala and it's one of the bigger towns here on the lake. But I think it's not as scenic as Vatsdena.
Over small roads we came to another military area that was unfortunately closed and we couldn't ride through. After we couldn't enter the military road, we found another pretty nice small road. It's all gravel, but it's a beautiful surrounding here. We left the small roads and finally had some breakfast. and fixed my travel partner's license plate. Please don't use us as role models or do this at home. Be aware that it's forbidden in pretty much every country to drive without a valid license plate. Transporting the motorcycle on a truck back to Switzerland would have been our only legal option. So we decided to risk getting caught and to pay the fines. Perfect. How do you think that is? I think that's great. <laughs> I think the Swedish police will like that. These are the last small roads that we are taking now. From here we are heading direction Stockholm and to the so-called Stockholm Archipelago where we are going to visit some more family on a very small island. Thanks for joining the ride to Lake Vettern and Vatstena. And now, hold on to your seats, because I have some great news. Next week I will publish two videos. Join a very special episode on Tuesday at 7.30 Central European Time. My beloved Fox, my Yamaha Tenere 700, finally arrived back in Europe from West Africa. And as promised, I am publishing a review about this motorcycle. Like usual, we will meet for the next episode of Expedition North on Thursday. This time it will take us to Sweden's capital and the Stockholm archipelago that we will explore by boat and water scooter. Give me a thumbs up and comment if you like this video and let me know if you are a part of the upcoming journey.